Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to show you how to create a drop down list in Excel that's pointing to a list in another workbook. So, in this example, I have a spreadsheet or a workbook called Deponents, and I have a list of all of the deponents' names. So, the first thing we need to do is name this list. So I've highlighted all the cells that have the names and I'm clicking into the name box and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Depot Name for short. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now I've named it and the way I know I've named it is I can go up to Formulas, Name Manager and you can see that it exists now. Then I'm going to go over to the other spreadsheet, I'm sorry, Workbook, and the first thing I need to do is reference the other workbook and the name of the cells that we uh, just created. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into formulas, define name. So in this case, I'm going to leave it the name of the column because that makes sense. We want it to work throughout the entire workbook. And then down here in the refers to, we're going to start out with equals. And then we're going to put the name of the workbook, which is up here, deponents.xlsx. So deponents.xlsx. Then an exclamation point, and then the name of the cells that we created over here. So that is depot name. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to actually add the drop down list. So I'm going to just highlight some cells and then go into data, data validation. We're going to drop this down and choose list. And then in the source, we want to use the name that I created a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago. So I'm just going to hit F3 because that will pull up all the previous names. And this is the name that we gave it a few seconds ago and then click OK. So now when I click in the cells, there's a drop down when I choose the drop down. So this is the entire list that we see on the left. So a couple things. One is that I only went so far down here. Yeah, so this cell doesn't have it anymore. So it's easy enough to continue down further by using the fill handle fill handle and then there you go. And the other thing is that this list can be dynamic. So right now when I choose a name, it's choosing from every name in the list. But let's say that I needed to add a name over here. Now when I come back over to here, there's David Bloom. So you can be updating this list if you need to and still use it in the drop down. Now a couple clarifiers. One is that you need to have, um, since this is using a list from a different workbook as opposed to putting this list somewhere else in the same workbook, which you can certainly do if that's what you need to do. But let's say that this is going to go outside uh, the firm or something like that and you don't want them to have a list, uh, the main list, then you wouldn't want to put it in the same workbook. Um, so because it's in a separate workbook though, you need to have the other workbook open in order for this to work. So basically you would open this workbook and just minimize it and then be able to use this. And the reason you would have a drop down is so that the names um, are, you're not introducing new errors. Every, all the names will be spelled correctly. Another thing I want to mention is if your workbook, your original workbook with the list of names, is more than one word, if it's two words with a space, then you're going to need to do one extra step. So when we, um, I'm going to go into Name Manager, when we named this and we referred to the workbook name right here. 
since it was only one word, we didn't have to do this, but just in case you have spaces, let's say that your workbook name was deponent list. You'll have to add an apostrophe before and after the file name. So let's say it went like this. And you have to add an apostrophe like that. Okay. So that's it for today's tip. I hope we can put this to good use.